So many of us have got used to recording our videos with our smartphones and that, but what if you want to record using your Mac? And by the way, I've got a similar video on how to do this using Windows as well. So you might want to use the built-in webcam, the FaceTime HD, or now with Ventura and iOS 16, you can actually use your phone as a webcam. And I've got another video for it, and there is a link below this video and a link that's gonna pop up in the top corner of this video as well. So how do you record yourself right here? And you can do it using QuickTime, which is built in and it's free. Now I've got QuickTime here on my dock right down at the bottom here. And it's a QuickTime player. Because it says QuickTime player, a lot of people don't think of it as a recorder as well. And it is a recorder and you can use it for screen recordings. And I've got another video for that too, link below. But if you haven't got it on your dock here, you can go into your applications and find it there. So if I open up my finder, here's a, here I am on applications. I can scroll down to QuickTime and start it there, or press Command and Space, which will give you the spotlight search and you can start typing in QuickTime and I'm just going to open it by pressing Enter. First thing that comes up is this dialog box here to open a file. So let's just hit cancel on that. I'm just gonna close down my finder here. What I want is to go into file, choose new movie recording. You can see it's got screen recording. It's also got audio recording. So I'm just gonna go into new movie recording and there you go. That pops up right where I am here and I can now use the webcam. As you can see, it's got that. So I can easily do that. It's showing me the audio is coming through here. Now, I can choose to use something and I'll just show you this. You can use other cameras that might be attached whether it's through a video capture card or as I said, because the iPhone is now connecting here. So let me just click here. You can see it's got GS14 camera. That's my iPhone and the phone needs to be locked. You can see I can choose different microphones if I've got them connected and I can choose the quality. So it's high. You can go for maximum, which would be really good quality, but don't forget that uses up more space on your computer. So you might want to think twice about whether you want to do that or not. So let's go for the GS14 camera here. You would have this mounted unless of course you want to show people around doing this. So it's just got to stay reasonably close to the computer for it to work. So that's quite neat. And I can then go back to my FaceTime camera just here. So of course, the other thing I need to do is actually press record. So let me press record here. That's now recording me. And when I'm ready, you'll see it disappears off the screen here. So if I want that to come back, my toolbar, I can just move the mouse over here and I can just press stop. And then I've got it here. I can play it. I'm just going to turn the volume right down. Otherwise we're going to hear, well, let's hear a little bit of it. You'll see it disappears off the screen here. So if I... So there you go, that's the video. Now I can share it by clicking here on these double arrows and choosing share, or I can go into file and choose save. If I was to close it, it would opt to save it as well. So if I hit save, I can now save it to where I want. I can just give it a name and press save, which you should be familiar with. Hope that was helpful. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe. I've got plenty of videos on my YouTube channel. Please check it out there on Jargon Free Help. Thanks for watching.